planning an event or need to get the word out, well, you're in luck. A website can help you market, organize, and act as an online hub. So welcome to Hostinger Academy, and let's build an event website the easy way. Planning an event can be difficult, since there's a lot to do, from lining up the entertainment to making sure people actually show up. But everything is easier with a little help. A website can showcase the schedule, make announcements, and even handle registration all in one place. Plus, it's the perfect way to spread the word and make your event easy to find online. So it's time to make your own. And don't worry, you don't need any technical skills to do it. If that sounds like a plan, let's get started and create an event website together. A website builder lets you build a website without any code, all through a drag and drop editor. For this video, we'll be using the Hostinger website builder. As it's super easy for beginners and has a lot of extra features that will work perfectly for an event website. First, let's purchase a website builder plan, which includes everything you need to build a website, hosting, the builder itself, and the domain name. Once you click the link to this landing page in the description below, you'll see two different plans to power your site. I suggest going with the business website builder, as that will give you all the AI tools and e-commerce functionality. Then choose the 48 months bundle to get the best deal, including free months for free. Next, create a hosting account with your email address or simply connect your Google account. Scroll down and pick any payment method you like. And as you're watching this video, apply the WB10 coupon code for an extra 10% off. Now just complete a payment and we're off to the next step. Starting out with the onboarding, you have two options build your site with the help of AI, or start with a professionally designed template. But if you want something more unique, you can always consult the AI builder. All you need is to provide a website name, choose the type, then describe your desired event website in detail. To customize your design style and colors, expand these settings and choose your preference. Then hit create a website once everything looks good. And that's it. A working website is ready in preview. All we have to do now is enter a site editor and personalize the site. As you can see, several pages have already been made for us, but you may want to add or remove some. For that, go to Pages and Navigation. And as an example, let's create a new speakers page. Click Add Page and pick one of the existing templates if you prefer. You can also build it from scratch or use AI to build a page with a single prompt. For now, I'll choose this Projects template as it's perfect for displaying profiles. Rename the page to Speakers and hit Save. As you can see, the page appears automatically in the navigation menu. In case you want to display information on multiple pages, you can move any page to this area to avoid cluttering the header. Visitors can then access it from other site elements like buttons, text, or images if you link to it. You could also consider creating a drop-down menu, which is as simple as dragging a page to the right like this. If you need any further guidance, simply open the AI Assistant and tell it what you want to do. All right, now we have our structure sorted out, let's work on the content. Double-clicking on the text will show the cursor, so you can directly edit the text and change its style. And if you only click on it once, you'll see the AI Writer, which can write copy for you. Just describe your text and you can edit the result later. The same works for images. Double-clicking on an image will open the image settings, while clicking on it once will show you the toolbar menu. This Generate Image button lets you pick stock images right from the site editor. Now, to change your color palette, you'll want to go to the Website Styles menu. Other settings like fonts, buttons, and animations here will also be applied throughout the website. And for a unique touch, you can also create an animated color gradient, just like this. And if you ever get lost with all the options, we even have a handy checklist for you. So make sure to play around with all the elements for that perfect look. Once you're happy with it, let's add some interactive elements. Most event websites have interactive elements like maps, RSVP forms, or countdown timers. And these make your site much more useful for visitors. To add these features, just click the plus icon. For example, if I want to add a map, all I have to do is just place it where I want and type out the address. RSVP forms are just as simple. Just drag and drop one onto your page, then customize the questions you want to ask. And don't forget to set up the email address that will get the responses. 
If you can't find what you need, you can always add custom code to the site. For instance, I'll add a countdown timer. Simply drag the embed code element to the site. In a new tab, I'll access logwork.com for our custom code. Then just copy and paste it into this field. And voila, the site now has a countdown timer. You should consider adding a blog to your site as well. It's a fantastic way to share updates, build anticipation, or even improve your site's ranking in search engines. Creating a blog is super easy. Just make a new page, choose the blog template, and you're ready to start posting. You can manage your blog through the blog menu that should now be there. And if you want to sell any merch or tickets on the site, simply go to Website Settings, select Online Store, then click Add Store. A new store page will be created, and you just need to set it up. There's a complete video tutorial here if you need a guide. With all of that done, the site is ready to go live. Once everything is set, click this preview button to make sure all site features work properly. This mobile icon lets you see how it looks on mobile devices. As you see, it automatically adjusts the content to a smaller screen size. That said, you can still edit or move things around on this interface. Any changes you make here won't affect the desktop version. Then don't forget to claim your domain name. It will make your site look professional and easier to recognize. Simply hover over this part and click Connect your own domain. Then you'll be redirected to HPanel to claim the free domain name. And one last thing. I recommend optimizing your site for search engines using our AI SEO Assistant. It will help people find your event when they search for keywords related to it. All you need to do is follow the instructions here to make all the marks turn green. If you're happy with how the site looks and everything is in place, click Go Live to publish. And that's it. You're now ready to promote the site. To help out with that, you could even make your site accessible through a QR code. Simply open Pages and Navigation, click the gear icon on the page you want, and select QR code. Customize the code as you want and click Download. This way, people can easily visit your site through any promotional materials or handouts. And that's everything you need to create an event website. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this. Turn on your notifications so you won't miss new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.